Parthians and Sassanids, 238 BCE to CE 637. The Parthians were an Asiatic nomad who had moved uh, south into Persia around 1000 BCE. Around 300 BCE, the Parni tribe, later to be, uh, become their rulers, joined them. The Parthians and the Parni lived in northern Iran under the Persian and then Greek Seleucid Emperor. Seleucid Emperor, sorry. The head of the Parni became the Seleucid, Seleucid oh, governor of Parthia. Then, in 238 BCE, he declared independence and made, him, uh, made himself high king over a number of local chiefs in the land. The Parthians adopted existing local ways of doing things, Greek, Persian, Babylonian, rather than inventing their own. Although in time they adopted more and more Persian customs, Parthia grew prosperous through the Silk Road trade from China. The Rise and Fall of the Parthians The greatest Parthian leaders were two brothers, both called the Myth both called Mithridates. Little is known about Parthia except that the Parthians conquered Babylonia and Bactria, which was Afghanistan, and were friendly with Han China. They fought the Romans regularly, step, stopping from the Roman expression eastward. Their army was strong and well organized, famous for horseback fighting. They swept into battle at great speed behind a hail of arrows and were able to quickly overwhelm armed opposition. The Rise of the Sassanids the Parthian wars with Rome were constantly and unpopular. After 450 years of superiority in Persia, they became a spent force. In CE 225, this became possible for a local king named Ardashir to overthrow the Parthians. Ardashir ruled over the Persian dynasty, the Sassanids. He made a Parsi faith, Zoroastrianism, into a state religion of Persia. He was new to the idea, later uh, copied by Constantine of Rome, Ardashir led the Persians into a new period of greatness. Shapur I of Persia. The Sassanid Shahs, emperors, wanted to carry on the ancient traditions of old Persia, and they also wanted to reclaim the lands Darius had once ruled before they were conquered by Alexander the Great. At the court of... Sorry, this is, gonna, this is probably going to be butchered. Tessaphon, near Babylon became the focus of a brilliant culture, and the wealthy empire became Rome's greatest rival. Shapur I was outstanding Sassanid uh, ruler. He fought the Romans and even captured the Roman emperor Valerian and had him killed. Shapur conquered Armenia, Syria, Bactria, so Sogdiana, also in Afghanistan, and the Indus Valley in Pakistan. At home, Shapur conquered a cultural flowering of Persia that centered on Zoroastrian religious ideas. In 480, Persia suffered a religious revolt and the invasion of the hordes of the Huns from Mongolia. After these problems were dealt with, Shah Khorusu II conquered Egypt and Byzantium. However, he was killed. A civil war broke out weakening Persia. Sassanid Persia collapsed when the newly inspired Muslim Arabs conquered the area in 637, eventually converting the Persians to Islam.